back to another episode of Warp Jester Does Minecraft. This is uh, another server play. I got a little backed up on getting things done and uh, uh, a little late on my last one and a little bit long, so I apologize for that. But nonetheless, we're back, we're here, and today is another great day because I get to introduce you to yet another new person. I teased about this just a little bit, uh, a couple episodes back, and I finally get to uh, introduce him. So, uh, guess who? It's ADDF Toxic. How you doing, buddy? Good, how are you? I'm oh, doing pretty good. I'm glad to see you on board here. Oh, it's a very shocking thing to be around here. <laughs> um, so just so you guys know, uh, ADF Toxic has uh, done, uh, uh, I've seen quite a few uh, videos. Uh, he's done two different uh, vanilla Minecraft video uh, series. Uh, that's actually how I discovered him was uh, through his My Hill series. Uh, he also has done some videos I've seen him do. Uh, was at uh, 140. Interesting. Uh, that's a, what, a Steam game, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so those are definitely fun worth checking out. If you haven't played the yeah, game but... 140, I definitely recommend it. It looks like a lot of fun. It seems like you've been enjoying it. <laughs> you just had a lot of time, hard time getting past that one boss. <laughs> Uh, did you watch the third boss? Uh, I, I'm current on what you've put out there. Okay. So, uh, I was watching, third, watching yeah, a rather long first... process. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Well, in any case, guys, like I said, definitely, definitely, uh, uh, definitely worth a look see. But, more importantly, today we actually did a show Toxic Around. Now, I apologize, guys. I know I've given you, in, in a matter of you know, 10 episodes worth of this series, I've given you the world tour for me starting out, and then it's world tour again when Rurik joined. Um, and now I've got Tox joining us. So I'm going to try to uh, pare down the wandering around, looking at all the same stuff twice kind of thing as much as I possibly can. I do want, of course, give Tox a chance to see the sites and see what there is. Um, and then we'll see about maybe doing something a little different. Uh, maybe I can take Tox out, give him a little bit of something to start him off with for gear, and then we can go take care of something or do something. I'm not really sure. We don't, <laughs> we don't exactly have a script here. Uh, but anyways, uh, talk to my friend. Let's go ahead and uh, head on out here. This is our, our little spawn area, which, you know, sure. you'll, you'll see once. <laughs> That's about it. <laughs> it spawns. <laughs> exactly. By the way, uh, guys, I barely logged on to the server at all before this. I, I got to ask, Tox, have you played uh, Modern Minecraft before? Just Optifine. All right. That's Wait. the only mod I've ever played before. Well, this is going to be a lot of fun, then, because there's, there's a lot of cool stuff out there. And as I as I said before, uh, you know, our our mod pack obviously has a lot of the same core mods as other mod packs. But where we tend to differ uh, is in the personality, the theme we have of doing all the remote cities. I know you I know you know about that just because. Uh, man, I'm getting a lot of really bad load here today. F3 and A. Yeah, me too. F3 and A is a great way to get things to clean up for you. Hmm. Hey, hold on, F3 and A. There's a lot of flowers little. back there. Yeah, that's actually, uh, that's Yankee's house. Uh, he did, he was uh, doing bees for a bit, and so he had bees set up there, and bees spawn flowers like nobody's business, so. Oh, so anyways, yeah. this is our little starting area here, and you'll notice Let's the roads are still get a kick up of these pea porches. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, so that's the nice way to get around here. Um... So, basically, this is kind of uh, our main town here, and, and to try again, get a little more in, enlightenment for the people who watch the the series. This is our primary town, and we tend to kind of we're kind of pushing towards that theme of having remote cities that have very defined, very specific purposes. So we've got you know the forestry town that we're starting to set up. We've got Rurok's town; he's going to be taking on stone processing. So all of this type of pavers and chiseled mod stones and all those, he'll be the one that basically would process and supply that for us and then we've got plans for like a b town and or town etc um but they kind of we kind of have them set up so they're going to be kind of around the periphery of this place so uh you'll see a kind of a wagon wheel of rails going out to different places and they all come back to kind of this as a focal point so the other thing about this town as well is with this town um because it's kind of a starter town we have the uh the motel I'll take you over and show you real quick here soon as a place to basically give you a roof over your head while you get started to get things rolling. Um, oh, that's awesome. Hmm? Oh, I've never lights. seen those lights turn on yet. <laughs> I, I, I've seen Last it happen I saw once. Games. I've seen it happen once, and it's a cool thing when they do it. 
Yeah, that that, that is uh, VSD's little uh, gift to the town, so to speak. She uh, added these in. I think I showed that uh, episode two ago. Um, but like I said, this is a great yeah. little place for starter town. We, of course, have open space to put houses up. Um, a lot of this around here is probably going to go away. I don't know about Rurik's place, but like, my house is going to come down. The laundromat we have here is going to come down. We're going to try to open up a little bit. Um, I'm going to try to make some like defined plots of land for people to plunk down on. Um, but the nice thing about this town, mm-hmm. this town as well is it's going to be a kind of non-themed uh, environment. So if you choose to hang out right. and actually live around here, go nuts, have fun, do whatever you'd like. Uh, of course, as I tell everybody, our theme is we don't do teleportation. Most of the teleportation stuff has been disabled, um, but we, just, we have a pact not to use it. Um, also, we have these theme of towns, and this is something, you know, teleportation-wise, we don't do it, period. But the theme aspect, that's your call. If you'd like to participate, kudos. If you don't, you can run 10,000 blocks in any direction, set up your own compound, you know, play solo style. That's totally okay. <laughs> You're welcome to. So, <laughs> uh, beyond that, like I said, this is kind of the, little, the center hub, if you will. We've got a church over there, which is primarily our magic as well as tel- uh, 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 portals to other dimensions. So, portals, we've got yeah. the uh, Twilight Forest and the um, uh, Nether in there. Uh, this Nether. is our temporary workshop. And this is this is probably gonna be like the, the, the biggest hub of god awful lag you're gonna feel right now. Just because we have so much okay. stuff in here. So actually my frame rate is higher now than earlier. <laughs> God, that's a good thing. Um there for all the stuff you see here in terms of machinery here, the big machines right here, etc., this is actually a fraction of what is truly available to you in terms of modded Minecraft we have for this particular mod pack. So we've got the Smell 3 right here uh, from Tinker's Construct. That's a really fun system to play with. Right. I definitely encourage you you read up on that and play with it. We've got uh, Industrial Craft Machinery along with Greg Tech over on this side. There's a couple other <laughs> mods. We've got all, just all kinds of craziness. <laughs> so... Um, Definitely something worth looking into, and just to make your life a little happier and easier, and uh, uh, yeah, make it make it easier to get around, if you will. Uh, let's see if I can actually got the materials for this or not. And oh my goodness, if you look at the crafting monitor, this top monitor right here. This is our applied oh. energistics mod. Okay. And it actually goes through and actually. Uh, you can program it to build anything that's basically craftable in some sense or another. And that can both be, you know, in a crafting bench as well if it needs machinery to build items like right. uh, batteries or smelt things. You can actually go through the process of teaching it how to do it. And in the end, it'll actually be able to uh, create all kinds of things. And I think I need to get some additional materials. Oh, yeah, so I'm missing Leptron crystals. So, a lot of automation. Oh, you have no idea. <laughs> now, the, there are people in this world who are like, oh my God, <laughs> it's, it's so cheaty. No. Well, you know, I used to think like that. I was actually a stalwart. I did not want to get on to modern Minecraft, but I kind of gave into it. But anyways, I'll go ahead and get you that start out with there. So there's a jet pack. And if you've gone over, right over here, to this little bench that's got the silver on top and open that up, you can go ahead and drop uh-huh. your pack pack into that and HP. charge it up real quick. This is a weekend of forgetting where I've put my things. <laughs> that make it a little easier for you to get around. Um, right now, because we're still kind of in that young phase, we, we this is an open workshop and open access to all the utilities and, and whatnot. Uh, we are eventually going to start shutting this down so everybody's kind of on their own again so they can actually learn, explore, and all that right. stuff. But uh, for now, feel free. If it's in the AE system here, you're certainly welcome to utilize if you'd like to. And some people want to... You know, go with their own. these purple squares? Yep. Yeah, the ones on the bombs are considered your crafting terminals. And the top ones are just access terminals. Right. But basically, it's all the same. The crafting terminals are literally kind of things where you can build something in the crafting terminal, and then you'll start pulling from the system automatically. So you can put, like, a boat in and make a stack of boats kind of thing. (laughs) Right. Because you got to have boats. I don't think this uh, thing's charging. Uh, it should be Did charged. you just get caught in that door? Uh, yeah, those things will hurt you. <laughs> you be a little bit careful. <laughs> uh, the the jetpacks themselves, um, you should have a little bar showing full of energy. If you curse over, it'll actually show you how much energy it's got. And then that's the jetpack, I think. 
I'm not sure if those need to be turned on or not, but if they, if they need to be turned on, it's the G key, I want to say. And let's say oh, while well, I'm in the charging interface? Uh, just while you're, while you're actually just outside the interface, just regular interface. Just stare at it? No, just stare at the ground. G. Oh, for the, uh, are you talking about charging the pack or are you talking about uh, running it? Let's see here. No, I'm talking about running it, or charging it. Oh, you just... It's still sitting there at zero. Oh, yeah, take it off, take it off and drop it into the uh, crafting square with all the little plugs. Oh, okay. There you go. There you go. Oh, so what? Oh, I had put it on me. Okay. Yeah, so it gives you access to it. That now you can go ahead and pull sense. it out and drop it back in. Yeah, that, this little sidebar is actually a view of your armor, so you can make it easier access, which I dearly love. Yeah. And now you should be able to. That makes more sense. Now I was trying to figure out why there's a pack sitting in there until I took my jetpack off. Mm -hmm. Oh, that ceiling scares me. <laughs> and the other thing is there's an action key. Uh, so while you're flying up into the air, you can hit the uh, G key. I think I think your backpack has the capacity. I'm not entirely sure anymore. It's been a while since I've had a regular jetpack. Whoa, uh, whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> <laughs> so while you're, while you're going up... Playing the, Lunar, Lunar Lander here. <laughs> if while you're going up, you hit the G key. You should see hover mode enabled. Oh, careful, you kill yourself. Yeah, I'm having trouble with that hover mode. Look at my options. <laughs> uh, start going, start, start flying up, and then hit G. While you're holding, holding down fly. I can't remember. I, that did, I tried that. Didn't work. Didn't work. No. Hmm. This technology stuff, I tell you. <laughs> Um. Oh, hey. I remember we were having trouble thinking? with this. I the base first two. Well, yeah, but that's what we were talking about. <laughs> right. Oh, oh my god, the stupid, crazy magic bag stole my other pack. Dang it. This is... This is ridiculous. Okay, hold on a second. This is... This is not acceptable. Okay. This is not acceptable. Alright, I tell you what, guys. Uh, I'm going to get uh, Toxic here a, a better jetpack that uh, won't kill him every time he tries to take off. And uh, we'll be right back. All right, guys, welcome back. So, got our uh, technical malfunction uh, straightened out. <laughs> going to go. Like I said, jetpacks are wonderful to have, but uh, if you don't have the ability to do the hover mode thing, you will plummet like a rock and it hurts like nobody's yeah. business. <laughs> so, oh, I know. Uh, like I said, so we got I've the workshop. I've experienced this firsthand now. Yes, <laughs> we got the workshop there. We've got uh, the uh, church. We've got the motel here, um, and we've got the coming soon uh, strip mall on the other side here. Uh, motel. If you'd right. like to stay here as a place to stay until you get a house built, you're welcome to. Just uh, sign in on the book and uh, ignore the uh, prices. That's more of a joke than anything. <laughs> or what are your zombies in here? Do you hear zombies in here? Possibility. Oh no, that's the bum. We we, we have that's, a oh the bums are here. Oh okay. Yeah, the the, the vagrant. Yeah, you back and your here. zombies. I remember that from PBA. <laughs> oh, I'm in you. <laughs> yeah, that's that, that, that's a wonderful hobo. I feel like I say, if you want to stay here, you're certainly welcome. Meters. to. <laughs> um, there's right. oh those doors are cool. Plenty of, yeah, I like those. Uh, there's plenty of uh, rooms available. If you like to pick one out, if you want to stay here, you're welcome to again. You, this uh, gives you the ability to put a roof over your <laughs> Give you the ability to put a roof over your head until you're ready to move on. <laughs> Anyways, um, so this, <laughs> this is kind of our little uh, welcome to the world midtown midtown area. Since we've got you know business things popping up, uh, Bunny is going to be breaking ground over here for a trailer park. So I'm looking forward to that. I'm going to help out with that. <sighs> Yeah, and if we just head back down this way. I love it, too. These roads, try to hop on those dang things, you will go all kinds of cattywampus. Oh, I'm going to be moving the uh, uh, laundromat over to that strip mall, but just so you know, if right. you have any kind of vanilla-based armor, like gold, iron, diamond, so on, you can throw them in the uh, washing machines on the bottom here, and it will uh, fix them right up for you. And VS even put an arcade They're in. just really noisy. Is that an arcade game? <laughs> that was Vesti's uh, Vesti's <laughs> little crafty work with uh, uh, I think she's using micro blocks as well as carpentry blocks. So 
If she can do some right. programming action but with that work, that'd be epic. <laughs> <laughs> so, right uh, on that. <laughs> beyond that, uh, like I said, this is kind of... I don't think you can make it quick th- screen. This is actually, actually a... that's kind of an interesting thought. Oh? I wonder if you could uh, put a monitor on a on a carpentry block. Those crooked ones. I don't think you can do a monitor. I've, tr- I've tried doing some, some tech like that. It doesn't seem to quite work. Um... This is the uh, church I was telling you about. So we've got the portals upstairs. There's a little ladder going up the side. Um, I'm going to be redoing the church. It's one of the okay. to-do list items I have. We're going to make it a little bit bigger. But as you can see, we've got all of our thumb craft stuff in here. This is the icky, dirty, evil magic that I don't touch too much. <laughs> <laughs> I stay away from it. Did you say the Twilight Forest? Uh, the Twilight Forest um, portal is up there. Wait, there are two portals up there. Yes, there were. There are two vertical portals? Yes. One of the uh, mods yeah. we have is the uh, Enhanced Portals mod. And that gives us the ability to do a couple of things. One of which is create portals of any size or shape in any orientation, be it up or crosswise. You can see we do different <laughs> colors. Um, but also right. we can do custom borders and all kinds of stuff. So if you want to go uh, check out the uh, Twilight, we can do that a little bit later. I, I actually haven't been in Twilight like at all. And that, that place is fun, but man, <laughs> if you ain't geared, you're going to get your... Yeah. Heine handed to you. <laughs> yeah. So that, that whole I, area is kind of a residential area, just so you know. This over here is our commercial area. Um, we've got City Hall going in. If you poke through the windows right here, you can see all the right. two list uh, signs I have up for myself. Those are all my projects. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I I, when, I, when I see episodes from Rurik, like, I really got to get things done that I've started. It's like, oh, you have no idea. And then we've got a. Yeah. I just recently <laughs> put in this new map here, um, that gives you kind of a centered centered focus on uh, this city here. And then VSC started to expand the map out to show the Forestry Town, Ruark's Town, which is over here. This is a really good way for you to get your bearings for a little bit here. So like right where right where I'm standing where is the is. motel and the the uh, workshop up here is where we're standing. So there's the uh, city hall and the the map area. So, like I said, this is this is this is the this is the core of which we can start with here. We've got uh, an industrial zone, um, right over here, which is on the other side of the the bay from where we're at currently. That's where the data center is, where I had my last episode, uh, last couple of episodes, has been from. Uh, and we've got the rail line out there. Recognize that bow tie. Yep. So we're going to be doing a lot of work out there as well. Um, like I said, you know, settle in, do what you like. Uh, this is a heavily modified mod custom uh not only not only is it you know yeah we got same mods as a lot of other mod packs do but we've also done some heavy tweaking to the configuration file so in some cases or in a lot of cases uh mods that people may be familiar with aren't going to act the way they necessarily uh expect them to yeah. uh so that's another little <laughs> little thing to keep in mind there so um that's pretty much it. And I say, if you'd like some help uh, picking out a place to to shack up or get moving on stuff or whatever, we can figure that out and, you know, it'll be the source of much fun to be had. Um, I really don't think there's a lot else I really want to bother you right now. I certainly wouldn't mind uh, if we can check out Ruark's place or the Industrial Zone later, uh, but we can do that in a little bit of follow-up. I'm not sure how long this episode has gone already, so I'm going to check that real quick, and uh, we'll be right back. All right, guys, we're back, and uh, Toxic has decided he's going to go ahead and shack up in our styling motel here with the bars and the windows. Uh, if you picked out a room, by the way, Toxic, is there a particular place that uh, stands out to you? Um, not really. Oh, I'll pick this one. There's purple in there. That is. <laughs> oh yes, the eye, the, <laughs> they make my eyes bleed. Room. <laughs> if you want privacy, you have the shades here. You can close, which you have already closed. Look at that. Oh yes. <laughs> All right. Well, so Toxic has officially joined us, guys. Uh, here? He's going to be uh, uh, hanging out here in motel for a little bit, and I'm hoping that we'll be able to get together and do some projects and whatnot. And uh, uh, Toxic, Toxic says he's really, 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 really eager to jump right into Twilight Forest with absolutely nothing on, just to see how well you survive, so... <laughs> <laughs> nothing but my gimmick. <laughs> exactly. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll just kick you through the portal and then uh, <laughs> unlight it. <laughs> so... Well, 
as always, guys, I appreciate your time today. And uh, if you do me a huge, huge, huge favor, if you have any questions, comments, curiosities, uh, please, by all means, leave comments down below. And whoa, hello. That's neat. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to get yelled at for that one. Uh, leave comments down below, and I'll be happy to respond to you. And, of course, as always, uh, go ahead and hit a like uh, if you like the show, because that always helps us out. And this goes also doubly over for uh, Toxic. Uh, definitely head over there. Check out his videos. Hit the like buttons on the ones you like, and uh, give him a hard time on the ones you don't. Uh, <laughs> and, of course, uh, definitely subscribe to his channel. If you'd like to get a chance to talk with all of us, you're certainly welcome to, of course, send comments to us. However, you you're certainly welcome to uh, hit us all up on the Bottle Rocket Gaming Forums. That's BottleRocketGaming.com slash forums. You can certainly hop in there and say hi to all of us and interact. Uh, we do try to be active there and uh, responsive, so there's a place to go. Uh, Toxic, my friend, tell us a little about you, you and your channel, and anything else you want to promote. Um, basically, I'm just crazy. Fair enough. And you're an expert redstoner. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I I like to try redstone. <laughs> I'm not very good at it, but I like to try it. That's, the, uh, that's all you can ask for in this world. <laughs> Gotta have yeah. fun. Gotta have fun doing it, I, and that's what counts. <laughs> I cheer really loudly when the redstone works. <laughs> I made the torch go off! Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> all right, I figured my friend. out how to make a monostable circuit. Ah, excellent. Well, it, it, to that point, yeah. you will you will love uh, getting into some of the redstone modded stuff we have here. We've got uh, yeah uh, the red power That's... replacement mod for wiring as well as the uh, red net uh, that I use on the Christmas tree. So, if you ever want to get mm -hmm. together and dig around, puss around with that, definitely let me know. All right. All right. Coolness. All right, guys. Well, thank you again. Definitely check us out. Uh, ADF. What is your YouTube channel? Um, you can find me at youtube.com slash addftoxic. All one word, no spaces, no and no dashes, no underscores. No nothing. Because YouTube didn't let me put those in. No <laughs> nothing. <laughs> Alright, I'll definitely add that to the uh, the notes down at the bottom here, guys. Um, just say, go over and check them out. Uh, as for now, I appreciate your time as always, and uh, hey, uh, take it easy. <laughs> <laughs>